Hi and welcome to this tutorial on how to create colored overlays, um, highlights of organs if you will, for laparoscopic videos as you can see in my laparoscopic anatomy video. Um, especially I want to show you how you can do this highlighting of the gallbladder in green. Um, I was asked a couple of times what programs I used so I'm trying to show this step by step so you can follow along. What we need for it is Adobe After Effects CS6 from 2012. It's a video editor and with like special effects and stuff. And we need our footage. This is here, which is uh, uncompressed laparoscopic footage. Put this in the in the timeline in the composition, and there you go. This is a short clip of exactly that what we just saw before without the highlighting thing. Um, what I used here, this is um, 1280 by 720 pixels, 30 frames per second, and um, it's uncompressed, lossless, so we can skip through the footage quickly. doesn't have to recompress or like uncompress stuff. Um, so the main thing, and the, the, it's really simple to do the whole thing, you click on the um, track here, and it says track camera, warp stabilizer, track motion, but we want to track camera well, because what it does now it tries to reconstruct the position of the laparoscopic uh, camera in a 3d space um, so and this is like you can see up here it's checking every single frame and reconstructs it and um, it's not like motion tracking of the single object but actually we just superimpose the video to a f uh, like a fake 3D space where we can uh, put those um, solids, those overlays on it. Well, this is solving camera, it means like, okay, it's done already, okay? So it gives us this weird thing with all those little dots here. And you see how they stick to their surfaces, yeah? And uh, we wanna highlight the gallbladder, so this is, this is the surfaces they'll give us, so take some of those right click here create solid and camera now we have this solid here but it's square and we can't see through it so we gotta manipulate a little bit here track solid uh, transform opacity turn this down and now we gotta take care of the shape gonna make a mask with the pen tool here I want to outline the gallbladder like this I should do it all right and you see this is always moving with the gallbladder it's really nice so if we don't want to see all those outlines and stuff, just click the the main track here. So this this is how it looks now. But let's take a look how we can make this a uh, little fuzzy around the edges, with, which would be the uh, feather option here. You see this? This makes it smooth it out, right? And there you go. That's how you apply those things those uh, overlays. Um, it's really easy, basic, and uh, but uh, if you want to highlight more structures, of course, it's going to be a lot more work. So if you want to um, highlight more structures, um, we want to see those points again. And you see like, uh, okay, we want to highlight, yeah, it's like the stomach, for example. Huh? I'll select, select a lot of points gives us a solid here. This is uh, too big. Oh yeah, yeah. and uh, to change the color, this is, you go on the solid which you're uh, active at the moment and you go to layer solid settings and then you ch change the color to something like uh, so nice green. There you go. And stomach, so 
we have to like resize this. Make it big enough for the stomach. Yeah, I can't see anything, doesn't matter. We go turn down the opacity. Okay, so we can outline the stomach again, do this quickly. There you go. And don't forget to make the feather, the mask. You can actually expand it and, and make it smaller. Yeah, maybe like this. Nice. Huh? All right. Uh, we don't want to see those points. And I take this off. Click the main thing. There you go. And if you want to, like, say like, ah, this needs to be flashing or something. So we go say like, ah, from here it should be only visible the gallbladder from here. We go to our gallbladder track and the mask capacity here. We say, okay, we want a keyframe animation keyframe here, and it should be not visible. So it's not going to be visible before this point. And then right after, we want to be want it to be visible. Go to a hundred or like. Uh, maybe like this is nicer right. and put another one make it zero like make it flashing go like this and maybe turn it off again so it should go on like and it's flashing on and off Okay, that's it. I hope you learned how to do some basic 3D camera tracking and you should now be able to create some interesting educational videos. Thanks for watching and keep learning.